Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to complete um, this problem. Uh, we're going to diagram the argument properly, making sure the major, ter uh, major premise and minor premise are in the correct place. We're going to assign term variables S, P, and M in the correct way. And then we will diagram the proposition, or um, diagram the argument using Venn diagrams to check for validity. So the argument says, flip-flops are clearly different than boots. Since some things prescribed, prescribed by podiatrists are flip-flops, it follows that some things prescribed by podiatrists are not boots. Now, we know that the conclusion, which is indicated by it follows that, is some things prescribed by podiatrists are not boots. The conclusion, um, when we use S, P, and M as term variables, the conclusion always contains S and P, the subject of the conclusion, and the predicate of the conclusion. So here, the subject of the conclusion is things prescribed by podiatrists. So I'm going to write that as the definition of that term variable. Now that I've defined um, the subject term of the conclusion, I'm going to define the predicate term of the conclusion, and that is simply boots. So the conclusion is some s are not p. That's how I would um, write the conclusion in its standard propositional form. The now, now that we know what the subject and the predicate of the conclusion are, we know what the major and the minor term is. Um, P, the, the predicate of the conclusion is always the major term, and the subject of the conclusion is the minor term. That's important because the first premise is going to be the major premise, that is, the premise that contains the major term. So since the major term was boots, I'm going to look at my premises, and see which one um, uses the term boots, and it is in fact the first one listed here. So it says flip-flops are clearly different than boots. Now if you think about what that's saying, it is in effect saying no flip-flops are boots. So I'm going to write the first premise as no M R P because M is now my middle term, flip-flops. That is the term that does not appear in the conclusion, but does appear in both of the premises. The second premise is some things prescribed by podiatrists are flip-flops. So now I simply write um, some s r m. This is the major premise because it contains the major term. This is the minor premise because it contains the minor term. All of the propositions are standard form categorical propositions. Each term is used twice. We're good to go. Now we check to see whether it's valid. As a matter of convention, we label the categories S, P, and M like this. And I'm going to start with my universal premises. You diagram a universal premise first. So no M, R, P is diagrammed in this way. I'm excluding from possibility any M that is also a P. And then I diagram my particular um, premise, premise 2, which says that some s are m. So there's at least one s that is an m. And then I check to see whether my conclusion, the information expressed in the conclusion, is depicted in the diagram. And it says some s are not p. And in fact, that is exactly what the diagram depicts. So this is a valid argument.